love to get into cooking more with fresh herbs, but where do I start? Dina Wild, Master Gardener, <laughs> is here to explain where I need to begin. Hi, Dina. Hi, Michelle. Hi. So, where do we begin with cooking um, with herbs? Well, uh, first, you got to remember a very, very simple formula. Okay. And because you can convert all recipes that re ask for uh, dry herbs mm -hmm. and part of the ingredients to fresh herbs, you got to remember one to three. So. You use three times as much dried as you would fresh? Vice versa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if the recipe says a teaspoon of dry, uh -huh. you want three teaspoons of fresh. Oh. And the formula works okay. for every recipe. Just remember, one to three. One to three. A tablespoon, three tablespoons. A cup, three cups. So yeah. when a, a tablespoon of dry. basil, dried basil, you would want three tablespoons of fresh basil. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yes, Good absolutely. Tip. Thank you. <laughs> and now there's some, also there's some guidelines um, for using herbs while you're cooking. Yeah, now uh, are there like quicker ways or do you just pluck each? Well, like <laughs> <laughs> that's one guideline. So after you've washed the herbs, and let me just put these right here. So even if you bought them fresh and they say already washed, you still want to wash them? No, they've already been washed. But these are straight from my garden. Oh, well. And I have seen birds on my basil bush. So you want to wash and you want to dry them. I find it's really, really easy to dry them just in a dish towel. Okay. And so then when you're ready to use them, you can easily remove the little blades no, this is thyme or rosemary? This rosemary. is rosemary, okay. yeah. So you hold it up and you just take your fingers and you go <gasps> whoop. Well, that's a hack if I ever saw one. <laughs> Isn't that great? And then the last few blades right here, you can just pinch that off because this is green and very easy to cut. Okay. You can do that with all kinds of herbs. For instance, um, the flowers, when the basil's flowering, this is already flowered, but you can use the flowers as garnish. And again, you just take the top, whoops, no, it's the other way around, sorry, and you just <laughs> make a mess. <laughs> and the same with the basil. You take the top and you just pull it off and there oh it is. Oh my gosh, it's I'm constantly just easy. like pluck one, pluck you two. You don't pluck. have to. And then of course you need to cut them. And uh, I use, this little curved knife. I didn't know there was a special yeah, knife. Yeah, and they're still out there. I just checked, and you can use any knife. You can use straight blade too. Okay. Make sure it's sharp, but I find the little curved one is just really, really easy what to use. What about herb grinders? I've never used one, so I can't recommend it. Because I, I have one, and, and it's clunky, and I, that looks better. <laughs> and, and, and it may mush, may, may it make does. it too small. Yeah. Make it too small. Okay, next comes um, some guidelines for cooking with herbs, okay. so with the fresh herbs. And if you are cooking something on top of the stove, a stew, a soup, even sautéing, first you use the really thick, rough herbs, like the rosemary. Okay, because that's more... It's very thick. And um, bay leaf would be thick. Oh, Another yeah. thick one is um, this one. I bet you've never heard of it. It is called Cuban oregano. Oh, I know Italian oregano. <laughs> nope. And this is not an... Italian oregano is an oregano. It is an oregano. Cuban oregano is actually now classified as a coleus. Oh, hmm. But, so they're just pretty. <laughs> it's more than pretty. This is quite edible, and it has the same um, aromatic qualities as the oregano or the regular um, uh, uh, oreganos, but the leaves are very thick. And so you got to chop them up, and you would with add this. that early. Yes, with my knife. You would add that. So, like at, into at, pasta sauces or wherever you would normally wherever use Wherever it calls oregano. for oregano. Okay. But you do it at the beginning or during the process. If you are cooking, if the recipe, excuse me, calls for basil, parsley, oregano, margarine, you do that, add that to what you're preparing at the very, very last moment. These are some great tips that you've given me. I know now where to begin, and maybe you can show me how to grow them, <laughs> too. <Yes. laughs> 
<laughs> we are, after all, Master Gardeners at Extension. We Fantastic. can do that. Fantastic. <laughs> Dina, thank you so much for thank the you. tips today. <laughs>